Hello everyone, welcome back. Hope you are doing good. In this video, we are gonna discuss some of the programs based on tuple. Before we start writing program, I hope you are well familiar with the basic concepts of tuple. What is tuple? How to create tuple in a different way? Most important, how to create single element tuple. Accessing individual elements of the tuple is just like list and string. Here is a list of the operations we can perform on the tuple. All are similar to list and string except unpacking of tuple. The functions and the methods associated with tuple is very limited because tuple is immutable. We cannot modify the content in place. And the nesting of tuple is exactly same as list. Alright, after taking a small tour of the basic concepts, we are ready to write programs. Here is program number 1. We have to write a program to create a tuple of odd numbers as well as even numbers from the given tuple of integers. If you know how to write the code, pause the video and try it yourself. It's very simple. Let's try to understand the logic of the program. First of all, let's take one tuple. I am giving name numbers. You can give variable name of your choice. Initialize some numbers to it. You know we can give values to the variable in two ways. One by initialization like this or by taking input. If you want to take input of the tuple elements, you will be using eval function. It is just like list. The next task is to iterate over the tuple. For that we can use for loop. Let's take one variable num which will iterate over this tuple. We have to segregate even and odd numbers. We know that how to do it. We will take the number and we will take the modulus by 2. If it is equals to 0, it means it is a even number. After segregating even and odd numbers, we have to add them in a new tuple. For that, let's create the tuple. This will be even number tuple which will be empty in the beginning. In the same way, we will create one tuple for odd numbers. It will also be empty in the beginning. If this condition evaluates to true means the number is even then we need to add that number to the even numbers tuple. But we know there is no function or method to add the element to the tuple. In that case how to do it. For that we will be using concatenation operator. Here we will create the single element tuple with the number and this single element tuple will get concatenated with the empty tuple. In this way, we will get a tuple with the even elements. If this condition evaluates to false, then we will get the odd numbers. In the same way, we will concatenate the odd numbers to this odd numbers tuple. And the final job will be to print even numbers tuple as well as odd numbers tuple. Hope you understood this logic. Now let's try to write the program for the same. Alright, we are in VS Code and here is the Python file. Let's close the explorer and start writing the program. Here is a tuple with some numbers. Initialize the number whatever you want to initialize. I am writing numbers from 1 to 10. If you want to take input, use eval function along with input function. Now let's iterate over the tuple. I am taking one variable num in numbers. Now let's write the condition for the even number if number modulus 2 is equals to 0. If it is equals to 0, it's a even number. We need to add that number to the even numbers tuple. For that, let's create one tuple named even numbers. It will be empty in the beginning. In the same way, let's create tuple for odd numbers. This is also empty in the beginning. Now let's add this number to the tuple. This is even number so we will add it to the even numbers tuple. For that we are using concatenation operator. Even numbers tuple will get concatenated with the single element tuple. Don't forget to write comma. This is how we create the single element tuple. Element followed by comma. It's time to write the else part. If it is not even it means it is a odd. Then that number will get added to the odd numbers tuple. Instead of simple assignment operator, you can use arithmetic assignment operators too. So here is a number. Alright, it's time to print the tuples. To format the output, you can use fstring or format function or simply also you can format. Let's write the message even numbers tuple. And the variable name is even numbers. In the same way, let's print the odd numbers tuple. 
let me copy the same and paste it here let's change the message the variable name is odd numbers so let's change it also i think we are done with the program now let's execute and check the output let me shift this up all right here is our final result even number tuples has all the even numbers and odd number tuples has all the odd numbers if you want to print the original tuple that also you can do it by adding one more print statement all right with the completion of first program now we are moving ahead to second one honestly speaking there is no separate and dedicated programs based on tuple all the programs which we have discussed in this video which is based on list is applicable to tuple but the question may arise that we don't have any functions and method to add the element to the tuple like append then how we will work on the tuple in that case generally we work on the list we add the elements and finally we change or convert that list to tuple using tuple method hope you are familiar with this tuple method it is used to create tuple from another sequence in python the data types work together that's why i highly recommend you to go through this video in which we have covered 10 programs on the list all will be applicable for tuple but genuinely i don't want to leave you with that video so let's go through some of the programs once again in short by considering tuple here is the easiest one where we need to calculate the sum of the elements you can even calculate the product and you can add the average to all right we are in vs code and this is the program we have discussed in case of list one list is initialized and we are iterating over the list taking the individual number and we are adding that number to the sum which is initially 0 so we are taking the number 1 by 1 and adding it up finally we are printing here we have used f string to format the output in this case only once we have to start the single quote or double quote and inside that we will be writing message as well as the variable name which is enclosed inside the placeholder which is indicated by curly brackets if this program we need to apply for tuple only one change we will be doing we will enclose the elements in a round brackets instead of square brackets hope you will do this change with the hope that you got the sum of the elements of the tuple we are proceeding to the third program in this program we need to find out the largest or the smallest element of the tuple There are different ways to write this program. I am showing you the first way where we are using building function max and min. If we apply max, we will be getting the largest number. If we apply min function on the tuple, we will be getting the smallest integer. This is the simplest way using building function max and min. We can find out the smallest as well as the largest element of the tuple. For that, we are initializing one tuple, applying the function. and finally we are printing the result but generally you will have restrictions to develop problem solving skill it is generally suggested not to use building functions all right let me show you the second version where we are not using any building function the first step is to take the input so for that we have initialized one tuple with some elements now what we are going to do we will consider the first element of the tuple as the largest one as well as the smallest one then we will iterate over the tuple and we will compare the element with the largest one if the element is greater than the largest one that number will be the largest in the same way we will compare the element with the smallest one if that number is smaller than the smallest one that number will be the smallest so there are two condition one for the largest and one for the smallest with this condition we will get the largest element and with this we will get the smallest element we are checking the next element with this largest and the smallest and according to the test that number will get initialized to either smallest or the largest variable and the final step is nothing but to display the result so we will print it In this way we discuss two different ways to write the program there is one more way we have discussed in this video so i will suggest to go through this video we have already this video in the playlist of the python practical list 
let's execute this program and check the output here it is the largest number is 89 and the smallest number is 12 i hope you are enjoying this session then don't forget to subscribe to the channel for the program number 4 i would highly recommend you to go through this video in this we have discussed the program in which we are swapping the location of the even elements with the location of the odd elements to write this program we have considered list can we modify the same program for the tuple here we are swapping the location of the elements but that we cannot do on the tuple so we will work with the list and finally we will convert the list to tuple all right how to convert it let's check out after swapping let's convert the final list to tuple using tuple function so here is the name of the list we have converted to tuple you can initialize this to any variable let's take tuple numbers and finally we will be printing the tuple let's change the message also tuple after swapping here we are starting with the list and then working on the list and converting it to tuple but what if you have tuple as a input let me show you that instead of taking list element let's take tuple directly i am using same variable numbers and here are some elements of the tuple hope you understood what i am trying to explain this is tuple but you cannot directly change the locations of the tuple it is immutable you cannot modify or change the content in place now what to do this tuple we need to convert to list using list function so here numbers tuple is getting converted to list let me change the name of the tuple as input numbers and here also we need to change it input numbers in this way tuple got converted to the list in the coding the numbers variable we have used so i am going to keep it same now using this for loop we can change the location of the elements hope this is working fine let's execute and check the output look at the output these two elements got swapped in this way next two elements also got swapped finally this third pair also got swapped hope you understood how to indirectly work with the tuple by converting it to list then modify the elements again convert back to tuple here instead of printing numbers we should print that tuple what we have converted so the variable name should be tuple numbers then we will get the result in the form of tuple let me execute and show the output now look at the output we are getting the output in the form of tuple wow this is one example in which we understood how to modify the elements of the tuple अब सीधे हाथ से सामने से नहीं खा सकते तो हाथ को घुमा के खाएंगे खाना तो है ही इन दिस वे वी रीच टू द फिफ्थ प्रोग्राम इन दिस वी हैव टू सर्च द एलिमेंट फ्रॉम द टपल दिस प्रोग्राम आल्सो बिलोंग्स टू द प्रैक्टिकल लिस्ट देयर इज ऑलरेडी अ वीडियो ऑन दिस इफ यू वांट यू कैन गो थ्रू इट द लॉजिक फॉर सर्चिंग द एलिमेंट इज सेम फॉर लिस्ट एंड टपल लेट मी टेल यू इन शॉर्ट हियर वी आर टेकिंग इनपुट इंस्टेड ऑफ एंटरिंग द एलिमेंट्स ऑफ द लिस्ट you will enter like this the elements of the tuple enclosed in a round brackets here we are entering the element to search if that search element is present in the tuple we are printing the search element as well as its index why we are applying this if condition because we know when we take input the input gets converted to string by default with the use of input function that's why if it is a digit we are converting it to integer execute this program and let me know whether you are getting the correct answer or not with that program i hope you understood the working of the tuple tuple is used when the data is fixed we cannot change the data of the tuple but still if you want to change it just convert the tuple to list work on the list and convert it back to tuple Now I am leaving these programs up to you which we have discussed in this video where we discussed the programs based on list obviously we consider list for these programs now you will convert this program with the use of tuple if you will practice yourself you will get more clarity here we are removing the duplicates similarly there is a program where we need to find out the second largest number along with that we have discussed these programs also which were based on list Now you are well familiar how to do it with tuple so give it a try so in this way by practicing some programs we understood how tuple exactly works 
If you really found this video helpful, don't forget to share it with your friends. In the next video, we will be discussing some important questions based on the chapter dictionary. So until next time, stay tuned, stay healthy. I will see you in the next video.